give it to the agency <laughs> man. Well, mate, that, you must be pretty happy with that innings. Uh, you said it was a good wicket to bat on, but you really did rise to the occasion today. Yes. Um, firstly, I think uh, our team has played well. You know, we've set the game up nicely, so it was quite easy for me to walk in. Um, different to what I'm used to, usually, you know, I'm batting earlier and you have to break down the bowlers, but the, today I came in and they were already a bit tired, so it was quite nice to bat. You were saying that the, the pitches in Australia are better for batting on from what you've experienced so far, from what you're used to in South Africa. What, what does that do for your confidence uh, coming into this test series, to think that you've got more batting friendly wickets? And how are they different to what you're used to lately in South Africa in particular? Look, if, if, if it plays like this, it's obviously very good, but I, I suspect it's going to be a bit faster um, when we play at the Gabba and the other venues. But in saying that, it's, it's wickets that we, we grew up on, uh, especially the guys coming from the IFL, you know, Supersport Park and the Wanderers has also got bounce and pace. Uh, this is just more, more um, of the same. It's not too paced, it's the same pace, so it's nice to, to bat on, but obviously we're going to face a very good bowling attack, which is also a nice challenge. Um, after the series in England, obviously you weren't there, there was there's a lot of talk about um, South Africa needing to go back and, and find batters who could, I guess, occupy the crease and sort of take the game on or up to those challenges of Test cricket. So what what's this tour mean for you personally that you've got the nod to come out here and play on this side? Yeah, we haven't selected the first 11 yet, you know, so we'll see what's the first 11. But in saying that, you know, from the previous times I've played, I've, I've matured, not just as a cricketer, but as a person. And, and your perspective of life changes a bit. And uh, if I get the opportunity to play, I really want to take it in and enjoy it uh, and enjoy the occasion. You know, as a, as a child dreaming of playing for the Proteus, the Holy Grail is playing a test series down under. So to be here is, is, is a privilege on its own. It's almost like wanting to play for the Springboks rugby and you want to play against the All Blacks, you know, it's that same same thing for us as cricketers back home. So really f privileged to be here and can't, can't wait for was, first uh, day. Oh, sorry, no. No. I was going to say, they, uh, you would have seen on television the three series victories that they had here in the last 12 or so years. Was there any particular innings that inspired you or any batsmen who did well over here that you, you liked the cut of their jib, so to speak? Well, some of the interesting stories is there's been guys who were backup batsmen and someone got injured and then they played at JP Dumini and then he made runs and that was the start of his career. So yep. it's almost like the last few tours down under has been an opportunity for some new blood within the team. Um, but in saying that, we can't predict the future. All we can do is front up uh, to the Aussies a week from now and, and, and give it our best and, and play true to our DNA and, and, and be in their faces. D Dean said after the first night that he'd spoken to um, the, the batters about focus in particular. And does it, do you feel that, I guess, especially in this second innings with him getting out a bit earlier, it's, it's allowed yourself and others to, to work on that particular aspect? Yeah, you know, that's a difficult one to answer. It's, it's batting is so different to anything else almost, you know, you, you can't know what's going to happen today, but if you can apply the same processes day in, day out, um, the consistency will get better. And I think if you look at our team, yeah, the batsmen that's here, maybe not at international level, everybody, but they are experienced and they've played cricket, they've failed, they've succeeded, they've gone through that roller coaster ride. So they understand um, what it's all about. And I think, like I said earlier, is, is playing against Australia, which is currently a very good team um, in their own conditions, is, is something that we as South Africans enjoy that underdog tag or whatever you want to call it to, to really front up and, 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 and fight. You mentioned in their faces, I mean, with uh, when Fuff was captain and also Graham Smith, there was that slightly combative element, wasn't there, of, you know, sort of stare people in the eye. And uh, did you feel this side can have that, that sort of stand your ground sort of approach? Well, I think you have to. Um, you know, if you look at teams that's been successful here over the last few years, if I can think, it's probably South Africa and India. Yeah. 
and uh, Virat pr brought that to the Indian cricket team, you know, playing in opposition's faces. It doesn't have to be verbally, but like you say, body language and, and eye contact. So, um, look, it's not always easy in South Africa. Sometimes we have a tough, so we're used to, to having a tough. And uh, uh, not saying that we don't want it easy when we're here. It would be great to, to have an easy day series, but, but we're willing to, to give it our best. You said you've matured as a cricketer. I think it's three years since you played the test. Was no, I don't even know. Probably. Yeah. Um, so, but what, what, yeah. why are you? Look, you obviously showed today what you, you're capable of doing. What, what, um, where, where have you come ahead in your own game, do you think, and, and improved to the point where you're out on the cusp of test cricket again? Look, I think at the age of 24 when I started playing, our team was quite strong at that stage. So. I got into a position where it was the first time in my career where I was a 12th man, you know, you're the replacement batter and you almost came in for like uh, the captain is leaving this test because he's first born, he's getting his first born, so you're getting one crack and you're playing at the law, at Lords and you're not, you're there to make runs so that you can play the next test instead of just playing at Lords and enjoying it, you know, and, and so it's almost like that rat race as a youngster, you, you want to get into this team now and, and it just, wasn't my time, you know, and um, not saying that now is, but you are here and you, you've got an opportunity hopefully to play and whether you play or not, uh, this is one of those holy grail series that you want to be a part of. So whatever happens, uh, good or bad, uh, it's one of those boxes that you want to tick. Who's the most awkward of the quicks to face in the net? Is there any that, that you know, when you're facing, you think, oh, not him again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's a tricky one. Uh, there's a few of them that can be quite nasty, but... Uh, oh, Gerald gets them through a bit, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, so we've already played against him uh, a few times this season. He, he can bowl quick. Um, but, you know, it's not always quick that's the most important. Uh, I'd much rather face quick than... Uh, who's the guy who bowled from that side with a new ball? Domain, what? Yeah, Gee, yeah. that seam, you could see that seam, even though it's coming slow, it's like a Vernon Philander, you don't know which way it's going to nip, you know. Yeah. It's pretty good, pretty good, yeah. Yeah, so five or ten k's quicker, he's going to keep you busy, but the point is, is obviously as bad as quick bowling, it can hurt you, mm. but you can also score. It's more about going out that we don't enjoy. If you're out, you're out, your day is done, it's like you're dying, it's not nice. So, uh, <laughs> Uh, and, and that's what the Aussies have in their bowling attack. They've got X factor, they've got good skill. Um, and hopefully we get good batting wickets because then you know you're going to be in a, in a very good contest. You, speaking of being in the contest, I mean, you spoke about the being toe to toe and all of that. Are you the sort of batsman who just really likes to be in the, in the sort of fight, in the thick of it? Do you like it to be sort of feisty and intense? What, how, how, how do you feel about that, that kind of? Cauldron, I guess. Yeah, so as a youngster back home, we, we get brought up tough with the older ones or fathers or uncles. You know, they hit you with a ball and they chirp you and they say, yeah, that's an Aussie that just hit you or that's a that. Or that. So from a young age, you, you get spiced up um, getting into the battle. So uh, I wouldn't say it's nice getting hit hard, but it definitely gets the competitive juices flowing, you know, and uh, uh, that's what stays cricket is about, you know, all those fairy tale innings is, I can't think of one, but I know Steve Moore had a few where he put away the hook shot and then he started taking it on the body to get into the contest or whatever. Well, so there's Smith, Graham Smith walking out with a broken hand, you know, those are the kind of things that inspire people. Um, yes, you can score a lot of runs, but you might just be in the right place at the right time to do something special and, and that could be your legendary status just for that one innings. It doesn't necessarily, not everybody can can have a test career of 100 tests and score plenty of runs, but maybe there's opportunity to be there, and, and I think that's what we want is, is to be in that contest, to to, to front up and, and, and be in for the fight. And I guess um, just from a team perspective, seeing Temba out there today, is it fair to say that the, he faced 92 balls, that that was as important, if, if not more important, than any actual runs that he scored? Yes, and, and if you look at his career, He's one of those characters that, that really stand out when the team's under pressure to put in a performance for the team. So he's got that character. Um, we're all human and he's gone through his journey over the last few months and, and I, I'm not in his head. 
but he looked really calm today. His positions was good. Um, and that was nice to see. That's something for him to, to take into next week, you know. Um, but like I say, when that contest start, you need to be up for it. And, and you don't know what to expect, but you need to be up for it. And I think, I think we are.